Hey everybody, I uh, have been occupied all morning with the snow. It's been a fun snow morning <laughs> and still more more to, to do out there. We're just gonna take a break and um, do some school uh, since we only had two days of school this week and we'll knock it out real fast. Just wanted to uh, apologize if there's any disappointment to me ending the study so abruptly and halfway through I just I made a video last night and I just feel like all I'm doing is saying I don't like this I disagree with this I disagree with that I don't like this where's the Bible where's scripture where's encouragement where's forgiveness where's sanctification where's um like too much fear driven advice so I just don't want to continue I regret that I wasn't more acquainted with the book before I started, um, before I, I started the study with you guys. And I am not saying that all of it is bad. I am saying that I will never recommend this to anyone. <laughs> I'm going to finish reading it so that I have the right to talk. Uh, but so far, I mean, through chapter 10, I'm like, no. And there is some good things, not a lot, some good things. Primarily that, you know, the design of the family is is right. Uh, husband's the head. We are there to model Christ. We are to model the church, his bride, just like it tells us in Ephesians 5. Um, it just doesn't talk much about our faith as believers and what our lives should look like as believers so I just don't um, I just don't want to advise anybody to read something that has no gospel no encouragement no practical Christian living advice it seems very works based from your own strength and everything seems like fear driven if you don't do this perfectly your husband might leave you and that is horrible and weird and wrong and not true and there, there's just so much that I just don't like not to mention the judge the judging critical heart in so many of the responses to the letters and describing others love and encouragement and grace does not flow from this book and for it to be called Christian is astounding to me it's, there's just enough Bible verses in it that don't even really apply to what she's talking about at the moment that people call it Christian, but it's not, this is not. So that's why I'm stopping. I'm really sorry if any of you want to speak to me on a one-on-one -on -one basis about it, I am open to that because I am going to continue reading it. And I will recommend other marriage books that I have read and absolutely love. Number one and always number one for me has been The Excellent Wife by Martha Peace. It is completely saturated in the word, the gospel, encouragement, grace, focused on our actions, which are the only things we can control, but they're all centered on Christ. Um, and it's wonderful. And it can be read by a wife married to a believer and a wife married to a non-believer and the whole range in between. So it is awesome. That is my number one recommendation. I do have a Bible, a book study already on that. There's a folder, how do you call it? A playlist that I made called The Excellent Wife Book Study. And then some other uh, marriage books I've read that I have enjoyed very much are Reforming Marriage by Douglas Wilson. That's more for the men, but it's really great to read together. The one that goes with that for the wife is Fruit of Her Hands. Excellent read. I love Feminine Appeal. I love Becoming the Woman of His Dreams. Um, what else have I read? I think those are the top ones I've read. So yeah, man. Uh, tell me what you think as you read along. And feel free to message me about it. But I'm done posting videos about it because I just felt wrong being so negative and not really getting anything out of it and just having to put in there every single video. By the way, you guys, we have grace in Christ. By the way, you guys, the gospel. By the way, you guys, we have to live out uh, 
the fruits of the spirit and live in love as believers should be living, right? In 1 Corinthians 13 and Galatians 5, 22, in um, being slow to, to anger, being quick to forgive, being uh, um, gracious and patient and kind and loving and live out your faith. And the Lord can and may use that to encourage your husband if he's a believer and to draw him closer to him if he's not and to save him if he's not. I mean, that that is, you know, that. And then self-control, you know, having con self-control um, as a believer, it's another fruit of the spirit, being watchful with our minds and how we like think and, and um, taking every thought captive and not uh, feeding ourselves lies and, and just letting the bitter, the bitterness grow and grow and grow because that can destroy and will destroy anything in its path. But uh, mortifying the bitterness, mortifying our sin immediately, accepting our husbands for who they are, loving them. These are all good things that are in the book, but everything in between is just non-biblical, foolish, judgmental, critical, unloving, fear-driven nonsense. And so you got to pick out the five good things and then add scripture to them because there isn't and add the gospel and the grace to them because there isn't. And I just can't do that for the author. I'd rather just read a book that has it done already, you know? So that is my apology and I'm really bummed but at the same time I think this is the right thing to do so thank you all for understanding and we'll talk soon